So this right here is the newest release from Rosecraft Blades. And this is the Rosecraft Blades uh, Nolichuck, Nolichucky Jack, something like that. N-O-L-I Chucky, Nolichucky Jack. Um, according to the designer Annie Andy Armstrong, I think his name is, um, it's based off of an old uh, IXL pattern. Um, knife is pretty well put together, just like all of the Rosecraft knives that, well, the three now that I have and the um, ones I've seen videos of and everything, it seems like these are being uh, built really well. Um, they are made in China. And keep in mind, just come with a little sticker on there. Uh, I was watching Logan's Logan over there at Knife Thoughts I was watching his video and he said that he doesn't like the sticker. I also don't like the sticker. I wish they would just put it on the blade, like stamp it or laser etch it or something. Um, I guess some people prefer the sticker because they don't like it to say China on their knife, but the knife was made in China, so I really don't care if it says China. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting jackknife here. Um, the handle shapes are really like, really feels good in your hand. So, you know, it's kind of like a downswept kind of design. The blades, this spear point blade that kind of swells out a little bit, um, which I really like. It has a long pull. The long pull is, seems like it's be fairly easy to grab onto. Yeah, my finger doesn't want to slip off of it or anything, which is something that sometimes. Uh, some companies with their long pulls will polish them too much or something. It'll end up, it'll end up almost rounded. Um, so it's nice to see a long pull work uh, really well, you know, for opening the knife and everything. Um, knife has half stops. The action could be a little better, but I also haven't put mineral oil, oil in it or anything, so... Uh, it might get a little bit better once you do that. Um, the handles on this knife are a really interesting uh, color dyed bone here where it's almost like this greenish brown bone. I forget what they called it, something like antique bone or something. But it's really like, uh, like a greenish brown color. And then they got their rose rosebud uh, shield there. That a lot of their Rosecraft uh, knives have. Uh, nickel silver pins or steel pins, I'm not sure which. And I think the bolsters are stainless steel. Uh, the fit and finish on this knife is pretty good. There might be some very slight gapping here, but it's kind of hard to tell. There might just be some like difference between the height of the liners and back springs, or the height of the liners and the back spring. Uh, the knife doesn't have any blade play, which is awesome. It came really sharp, it seems. Let me see, see right here. Yes, it came very sharp. Um, so that's always good. Um, knives put together really well. I think this was about $60. I don't really remember. Um, I'm recovering from food poisoning, guys, so um, you're going to have to excuse any little bit of uh, mistakes I make here. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy with the knife that I've got from Rosecraft Blades here. Um, I bought it from traditionalpocketknives.com. I don't know if there's any of these left because I do know that it was a really uh, popular knife and that a lot of people were really looking forward to it coming out. Um, so I don't know if there's any of these left anywhere. Uh, if there are, uh, you know, maybe go ahead and pick one up if you think, if you think it's something you would like. Um, the blades, eh, just over three inches long. Uh, and the handle, like four and, it's like four and an eight, it looked like. Let's see here. So close length is about, Close length is about four inches, actually. So, 
Closing length is about four inches, blade length a little over three. And then your uh, usable blade is like two and three quarters, looks like. Um, I really like the blade uh, shape on this one. Uh, it is D2 steel, which is nice. Uh, you know, D2 is a really good, uh, more budget option for your, for your steels. You can peel that china sticker off there and it'll leave that sticker residue on there. And then I'm going to try to get that off. But uh, I noticed with my um, Barlow, the Beaver Creek, Beaver Creek Barlow, is that what it was called? Something like that. I noticed with the Barlow that it was, it seemed like even after I got the sticker residue off, it seemed like there was still like a uh, mark left on the blade. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but just something I noticed. Yeah, you can kind of see there. Like I just tried to rub off most of the sticker residue and you can still see that oval there. So I don't know if that'll go away over time or not. Um, and I don't know how frequently I'm going to carry this knife. I'll probably carry a bit just because I really like the design of it and everything. Uh, D2 is not a full-blown carbon steel, which is what I would prefer. I'd prefer this to be 1095. Um, but D2 is a really good steel for, you know, budget knives and, you know, especially knives that are being made in China. I guess they can get D2 uh, really cheap over there. But D2, generally speaking, is like a semi-stainless uh, tool steel, meaning that under certain, under certain circumstances, this will stain and stuff, um, and it will rust easier than most of your full-blown stainless steels, but it won't rust as easily as 1095, and you won't get that really nice patina you know just from using it and everything you almost have to try to get d2 to do anything um i know one time i cut like a hot steak or something with d2 and that actually stained it a little bit um so you can do it and i'm sure certain types of d2 like certain companies d2 stains better than others um but i'm not really sure about that uh, but anyway this is the Rosecraft Blades Nola Chucky Jack. Uh, pretty nice little knife, uh, especially for the price. If you can get your hands on one, um, I'd say go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, I just keep hearing good things about Rosecraft Blades. And I saw this knife and figured I wanted it. They also re released a Briar Patch Jack a little bit ago, which is like a moose pattern almost, where one of the blades is like a lamb foot blade. I've been thinking about getting that, but I've been waiting, so I don't know if I'm going to pick that one up or not. Uh, but I'm really uh, quite happy with this uh, Nola Chucky Jack. Uh, it's a really nice knife, it seems. Um, one last thing, I guess, quick. We'll talk about the box. A uh, really nice cardboard box. Not something I really care about. It comes with like a foam imprint, and it comes wrapped in your tissue paper. Uh, for me, this box is probably going to get tossed just because it's not. For me, the only the only boxes that I really keep are my older like Shatton Morgan knives that I have. I've kept those boxes and the Winchester knives. I've kept those boxes and then the Great Eastern Cutlery knives. Anything that's like this where it's like a new knife that's not that's not like collectible or whatever. Um, I just go ahead and toss the box because it takes up a lot of space. Um, same with case knives and everything. Usually I end up just tossing the box. Uh, but anyway, this is the Rosecraft Blades Nola Chucky Jack. And that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a good day.